Hey everyone, okay, so today's video I'm going to be going over with you contouring and highlighting. Now, in the description bar below is every single video I've ever done on contouring and highlighting, and there's a lot of them. It's probably, probably what I'm best known for on YouTube, because I have the ability to be able to, and you do too, to contour and highlight, to make your skin look like skin, to make it look dimensional, not chiseled, not altered, not trying to create fake cheekbones or a really strong jawline. It's about adding dimension to the face and this real glow that comes from it. Um, I did my first contouring and highlighting video back in 2009 and at the time of posting it there wasn't a single video on YouTube that I found showing how to do it underneath foundation. It was always done with powders over. So, you know, I've been doing this a very, very long time, not just on YouTube, but in real life as well. It's the one thing that I was always very, very good at. I think some things come very easily and some things don't. In this tutorial, I'm gonna try and explain it as best I can so that you can look really real, really like you, but at your most beautiful, at your most radiant, because that to me is what contouring and highlighting is about. Your face isn't flat. Therefore, we shouldn't really paint it that way. We should try and add in these colors to the skin to really lighten it up and make it look brilliant. I actually cannot think of a reason why I would do another contouring and highlighting video as in a specific one because frankly all you need to know is out there and the description bar is long filled with videos for you from Kim Kardashian to everyday contouring to powder products to shimmery products it's all there for you to prove so look at this as a library of information for contouring and highlighting but let's get on with the tutorial and you can see what I mean and why it is I think one of the best techniques available Thank you so much, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is apply moisturizer to the skin, and the general rule of thumb with moisturizer is the more moisturizer you apply, the more powder you can use. So I'm applying a generous amount to the skin. Next, I'm going to highlight the skin, and I'm starting down the bridge of the nose because I want this area highlighted and the forehead area. Next I'm going to move on and highlight underneath the eyes and I'm going to kind of drag this out all the way past the sort of upper part of the cheekbone as well. And you can see I'm not applying it really heavily but it's there, it's evident enough that we can see it. I'm applying it just around the nose as well. So what I'm going to do is just apply a tiny bit just above the kind of arch of the eyebrow because this is a kind of a nice area to highlight. And then I'm gonna tap and press this into the skin so it becomes one with the skin. I wanna do this before we go over with foundation. So you can see I'm really kind of blending it in, but it's still visible. And this is really key. You don't want there to be any kind of hard lines or areas of demarcation. So with that complete, what we're going to do is now move on to the contouring part of this. So I'm going to take a contouring color and I'm going to apply this down the sides of the nose and then wrap it around. I'm also going to contour the forehead and the kind of cheeks and jawline. Now if you've got a small forehead then don't bother contouring the forehead. I'm just going to suck in my cheeks and apply this to the hollow. So I'm following that hollow and I'm going all the way down and then apply it to the jawline as well, assuming, of course, that you don't have a beard. With that complete, all we're gonna do is once again, blend this out with our fingers. Nothing fancy, we just wanna get these colors a little bit more kind of blended in before we start to move on to the foundation. So you can see I'm just working it into the skin. So you can see all the contour and highlighting, but it's not as vivid as the stripes were. Next I'm taking a foundation and I'm stippling it onto the skin and it's very important that you stipple the foundation as opposed to doing lots and lots of big circular motions all over the face. We want to cover these lines but we still want there to be dimension to the skin and if you just do really large circular motions over everything the whole thing is going to be blended in and become too muddy. So you can see I'm really stippling this in with my foundation brush which is brush number 10. And again, follow the same rule of thumb. I'm using a liquid foundation, and again, all information is in the description bar below. 
And you can kind of see now as we go along how the skin kind of morphs and becomes more and more flawless as the tutorial goes along, as this foundation is getting worked into the skin. And I'm using such a bare minimum as well. And I'm going up on the contouring on the nose, never go down, always go up. And I'm using my finger to really blend in the nose contour. Again, stipple over the highlighted part on the center of the nose and just look for any areas that need extra blending. So we're almost complete with the foundation stage. Looks pretty good from where I'm looking. Don't forget the eyelids. Okay, so let's move on. Now we've done the foundation and the skin's looking good. I'm gonna apply a pressed powder that is a shade lighter than my skin tone and apply this to the highlighted areas of my face. So that would be the forehead, the nose, and underneath the eyes, and the kind of cheek area. Then I'm gonna take a bronzer that's a couple of shades deeper than my skin tone and apply this around the contoured areas of the face to just kind of bring back a little bit more of that kind of golden glow that we kind of added in. And you really want to, when you're following the lines that we did, you really want to blend up and out as well so that you don't leave those kind of really hard lines. You can see I'm blending this up into the highlight color. So I'm just going to darken the beard because you would have done this with the contour, but because I've got a beard, I'm going to darken this to give an overall effect of the look that I want to go for here. Once you've done the jawline, next we're just going to move on and I'm now going to apply a blusher shade up high on the cheekbones and blending in glorious outward circular motions. You can see I'm going slightly up into the eyelid. I'm also going to go over the bridge of the nose, the temples and the chin because it just pulls everything in. I'm going to highlight the upper part of the cheekbones going over that blusher, going up into the cheekbones and just under the arch of the eyebrow. I'm also going to touch it over the arches of the eyebrows, down the center of the nose and onto the cupid's bow. There we go. Beautiful. Going to curl the eyelashes and apply the faintest amount of mascara. Real, real smattering of mascara here because this look is about the skin. Then you can take it wherever you want with eyeshadow. Now I'm just going to fill in the brows very, very lightly, nothing too over scary or thick or thin or arched, just going through them with a bit of brow product. This just kind of completes the look and gives an overall effect. And last but not least, what I'm going to do is reintroduce all the marks on my face that I took away with foundation. So beauty spots, I want to bring those back in the areas of my face where I actually have them. So I'm taking a lip liner pencil and just applying these right back where they belong. That way it gives the look of real skin because you can see beauty spots on the skin and they're beautiful and you should show them off. That completes the look. You'll see the after now. Thank you for watching. All information in the description bar. Don't forget to thumbs up because it would be very nice. Thank you so much. Bye bye.